Hi everybody, welcome to English 3010 online at Wayne State University. I'm Dr. Nicole Guinovardi and I'll be your instructor this semester and I'm really excited to work with you guys on this intermediate composition course. In this video, I'll be going through our course syllabus to help you get your bearings with all of the things that we're going to work on this semester along with some of my expectations for how this class will be run. I'm really looking forward to it. English 3010 is one of my favorite courses because we really get to dive into the writing and reading practices or what we'll call literacy practices of the discourse communities that you are going to be participating in in your career or that you're planning on participating in and working towards in your major or maybe just that you're interested in. Um, but we really want to focus in on some really specific discourse communities and literacy practices that will hopefully be incredibly helpful and useful to you in your future careers. So I'm going to open our Canvas site and pull up our syllabus and we'll get started. Okay, so here's our Canvas site. I'm going to walk you through this module right here called First Day Stuff. There's other information that I want to go through with you, but I'm going to save that for another video. So keep your eyes open because there will be two videos plus the mini lesson to watch this week. So there's a total of three videos coming down the pipe for this week. That won't be the norm, but I just wanted to give you the heads up about it. So in this module called First Day Stuff, obviously, for today, the first day of classes, you'll find an instructor profile which gives you a little bit of information about me. When you pull it up, there's some stuff that I've written to kind of introduce you to who I am as an instructor. Um, I've got some of my favorite Leslie Nope memes in here, so that tells you a little bit about me. Um, a little bit about my education <clears throat> and my family. There they are, aren't they cute? I won't go through this with you because I'll allow you to read this on your own time, plus it'll be a little less awkward that way. Um, we're going to be introduced later on this week to your peer mentor, Ray Ann. She has a little introduction here for you, so you can check that out. Now here's where I want to spend most of our time in this video, which is our syllabus. The syllabus is the document that outlines all of my expectations and policies and a lot of the official information for this class. So you'll see that I have it uploaded here as a PDF. I'm going to expand it so that it gives us a nice full screen view. I'll even make it a little bit bigger here. So here we are, 3010 Intermediate Writing. Um, you can see my office information is here. I'm in the Maccabees building, which is right at the corner of Warren and Woodward. I'm Kitty Corner to the DIA, and I'm like right next to the Detroit Public Library. So that's my building. Um, we'll talk more about why you might need to know that information in a minute. Um, all my sections of 3010 are online this semester. So probably the best and easiest way to get a hold of me is via email. Or if you need to, we can always Skype. Now, I will be holding regular office hours Mondays from noon to 2, but also by appointment if we can squeeze it in here and there. Um, as I mentioned, all my classes are online this semester, so my office hours are kind of limited this semester. But that doesn't mean that we can't make something work, especially via Skype. That's always a good way to get talking. Um, now, this stuff about the English department description, letting you know that we're focusing in on how discourse communities shape texts and their functions, the writing constructs, and how writing helps make knowledge in disciplines and professions, um, how we're going to work on sustaining research and developing our research process. All of this stuff, along with this nice fat little paragraph, I'm going to let you guys read on your own. You can take a look here at the undergrad bulletin description, course placement, gen ed stuff, last day for ad drop, yada, yada, yada. I do want to take some time to really hang out here, though, and talk a little bit about our course learning outcomes. 
in order to earn a passing grade in English 3010, you need to demonstrate that you can read, write, research, and reflect. Now, for 3010, because we're focusing in on literacy practices in a discourse community or discipline, we're going to focus on analyzing and reading genres from your own discipline or profession. Um, we're going to focus on writing. Of course, we want to establish a flexible writing process using varied technologies, but we're going to be looking at the expectations of your own discipline, your professional discourse community that you're aiming to become a part of. We want to use research to extend a project on a good healthy chunk of the semester to help us deepen our knowledge of these literacy practices. And of course we want to be using reflection to help us grow and solidify this knowledge so that we can take it with us beyond this class. Okay, so those are our learning communities. We'll be coming back to, or our, those are our learning outcomes. I was reading ahead of myself. I want to talk now about being a part of the composition learning community. So this class is a part of the CLC, as we call it. Um, and students in these classes, I think, are really lucky because you're a part of this community where we are working to support you in ways that maybe you wouldn't get elsewhere. But we have peer mentors for this class. Your peer mentor, Rayan, has taken 3010. She made it through successfully, she's lived to tell the tale, and she's here to help you through any uncertainties or sticking points that you might have in this class, especially when it comes to how to navigate the assignments. Um, also, part of being in the composition learning community means that you're linked up automatically with the other comp courses in the community, and we'll all come together at the end of the semester in the writing showcase which is a really cool event where we all show up. Yes, even us online folks. We're going to show up, we're going to display our work from the semester, and we're going to get to talk about it with people across the university and the English department. So bookmark that in your brains. Um, in the composition learning community, our outcome goals are teamwork, integrative learning, and written communication, which we'll talk about later on. Now, the required text for this class is the Wadsworth Guide to Research, um, preferably the Wayne State edition. <clears throat> but if you can't find that exact edition, just keep your eyes peeled because this edition has some materials that other editions might be missing. Now, when it comes to computer use, the main thing that you need to be sure of is that you have regular access to the internet and your access ID is in good working order so that you can get on Canvas. Our whole classroom is set up on Canvas, so you need access to it. Additionally, you'll need access to word processing or Google Drive type software just so that you can type up your papers. Make sure that you have backups, a way to get online that isn't dependent on just one source. For example, if the power goes out at your house, how can you get to a place to get online so that you can submit your stuff? All right, now a note about the online classroom, surviving versus thriving. So. This might be a little different for you. This might be old hat if you've taken a lot of online classes before. Um, if you've never taken an online class before, this could be a totally new situation. But here's the thing. It's all about your mindset. You must unlearn what you have learned or just do it. And what I mean by do it is that there's a lot of steps in this class that are here for your good. I've integrated small assignments into the class and I've set up the course schedule for your good to help you build towards some of these bigger projects so that they don't feel as overwhelming and so that you can get a better grasp of what you're doing as you're doing it. All right, so each week, instead of meeting in a face-to-face -face classroom, we're considering Canvas to be our classroom and I will have things for you to watch, read, and write every week. In order to survive, just survive, you need to do all the 
writing assignments, do all the stuff, and you need to submit it every Sunday night. All weekly written assignments must be posted each Sunday night by midnight. This is a hard deadline. At the very least, everything needs to be in each Sunday. Now, what you'll notice is that I've posted a suggested three-day weekly schedule for you on purpose. Now, it's not written in stone. You can just submit everything on Sunday. But if you follow the Wednesday, Friday, Sunday schedule loosely, I mean, if you break up the week's work into those chunks, it's going to really lighten your load and make it way easier for you to thrive in this class. So like I said, I've developed this schedule for your good to help you. If you try to do all the homework for this class in one sitting, it's going to be five to six hours on average. Okay. If I saw you face to face, that's how much homework I would assign plus our in-class time together. So think about it that way. If we break it up into three days at minimum, then we've kind of spread it out for ourselves the way it would be if we had this class face to face. So method to my madness here. As you're thinking about doing all this work, think about where you're going to do this work, right? I mentioned before having a backup system. You want to make sure that you have a time that's regularly scheduled and a space that's quiet with access to the internet where you can do the work of this course. Think about it. Do you have that space? If not, make plans right now to find that space, to go to the library, to figure out if there's a room in your house where you can go to on a regular basis that will be quiet and that you can really focus. We do have some optional in-person dates this semester. I'm offering conferences basically before each major project is due, but they are optional and they will mostly be held on Skype. So just kind of keep these dates in your mind. There's only one mandatory face-to-face -face date for this class, and it is April 5th, which is a Friday. It's the writing showcase. It's going to be a lot of fun. I'm really excited for it. Um, but please take note and make space on your calendar right now for it. We'll talk more about it, like a lot more, as we get closer. Okay, <clears throat> so really quickly, I'm not going to go into depth about our assignments. I'm going to let you read those. They're posted at the bottom of the syllabus and in Canvas. Um, but I just kind of want to give you the overview that we have five major projects. Um, and the one is kind of broken into two pieces. So we've got the digital research guide, which is our first project. The genre analysis, second project. The lit review and multimodal presentation are two parts of project three. Project four will be a formal research proposal and project five, number six here, I don't know why, um, <laughs> will be a reflective letter and portfolio. So we'll talk a little bit more about that in a second, but just so you kind of know the outline of the class. In terms of grading, it's graded on a point-based system a grade of 75 or better is passing. You can see the point breakdown right here. Everything from small assignments like discussions, reading responses, reflective journals, bigger things like project builders, which will help you kind of work your way through the assignments, and then the big final projects themselves um, all work together. And also, please take note that I, I do give points for the writing showcase. It's an easy 40 points in the semester. Okay, quick overview of my course policies. Thank you for not turning in late work. Um, we are working on a schedule here, and if you are meeting at bare minimum the Sunday night deadline, you'll be okay. Uh, if you're working through the Wednesday, Friday, Sunday schedule, you're going to be golden because I really work hard to adjust my schedule so that I can be on top of grading those smaller assignments for you. But if you miss that Sunday night deadline, especially for blog posts and journals and stuff like that, those smaller things, they cannot be made up because I just, I, I will never catch up. I won't keep track of them. It just would be a big mess. So thank you for just turning in everything on time, which you were going to do anyway. So there you go. 
Um, participation is all about your frequency and diligence and keeping up to date with this class. Watch all the videos, guys. Watch them. I've got mini lesson videos in here. Every week when I go through the weekly activities, I give like little tidbits and help you think about your work, how it's going to shape up. Sometimes I do a deep dive into the project to really kind of break down the assignment. So watch the videos. <laughs> I make them for you, for your good. So make sure you check that. Um, you know, there's no absences here, but if you drop off the grid, that's like being absent. Regardless of the reason why you haven't been participating, if you don't, you're responsible for making up the work, for communicating with me, for getting on top of it and getting stuff in and in a way that we negotiate. But no one's going to need that because you guys are all going to be on top of it. You're going to be doing all your work no matter what. So moving on. All right. You guys can read through the plagiarism policy, through the respect policy. Basically, just kind of keep Aretha in mind. Don't make her give you this look. And keep in mind, too, that as we interact with each other online, there's a different level of respect to show to each other because tone of voice can't often be translated online. And we're going to be talking to each other online for the majority of the semester. So keep that in mind. Check out the student support systems. First of all, communicating with me. I don't know what I don't know. So just shoot me an email. If you're feeling scattered, overwhelmed, if you don't understand something, you have a question, email me. Give me like 24 hours to respond, 48 on the weekends, because I do try to take one day off on Sunday. Um, please also try to set up your email in this way, like general courtesy, dear Nicole, or Dr. Vardy, if Nicole isn't comfortable for you. Uh, here's the thing I want to tell you. Thank you. Please include your name and for the love of all that is holy, please include the section of 3010 that you're in. That's one thing about teaching online that I unfortunately don't automatically know which section every student is in. So please clarify that for me and that will help me a lot in answering your questions. Um, of course, since we're in the composition learning community, you'll be able to communicate with your peer mentor, Rayanne, as well. She usually sets up a group me chat, which she'll be talking to you about in a video or an announcement. Um, so keep your eyes posted for that. Also, you can feel free to use the right zone. Information about that here. Any other uh, resources that you might need. And there's my siren, I think, telling me to wrap this up. We're getting down to the end of the syllabus. You can see the assignment descriptions start here that you can kind of read through. I won't go through them here, um, but I'm going to pull out of this and close up this video. Okay, so I think that about does it for our introduction to the syllabus and to the general outline of the class. If you have any questions about any material on the syllabus, please feel free to shoot me an email. Um, I'm going to close this out and I'll be back in a minute to talk you through our first week's activities. All right.